I never want a person to be afraid to call for help. Heather Sullivan, Chief of Staff for Student Government, has been working on passing this policy since April of last year. I never want them to be afraid to be in trouble, to get in trouble for helping someone else, um, to doing the responsible thing. Um, and that's one reason why I have pushed so hard and worked so hard on this initiative. The emergency response amnesty policy will be in place to protect students from reporting alcohol or drug-related incidents to police without consequence from the university. Um, if a student reports um, another student needing help or if they report themselves um, needing help in a, like I said, in a drug alcohol related situation, they will not receive, they will not be in trouble with um, the university. Coincidentally, the policy was passed for a review September 13th, the same night of Maxwell Grover's death due to hazing at the Phi Delta Theta House. A study done at Cornell University says that while 19 percent of college students reported that help should have been called for highly intoxicated individuals, only 4 percent actually decided to make that call. I want people to be able to pick up the phone and not have that fear. Um, I want people to be able to make a responsible choice um, and not even have to question it. Student government as a whole is working as hard as possible to prevent situations similar to Groovers. We want, we don't want the university to have to go through that again. So we want to do as much as possible to prevent actions like that. To bring awareness for it, I ask that if students are ever in a sticky situation, whether it's with drugs or alcohol, um, 